Hey, it's Baz. I've got a ukulele, uh, another beginner's tips video. I'm doing quite a lot of these at the moment. Um, I stress, I'm not a teacher. Um, there are people on the internet who claim they're teachers and they're really not teachers uh, that I would suggest you are worried about. If you want teachers that I recommend, if you go on the Got a Ukulele website, go to the tuition tab, you're going to see some people that I trust. Um, so why am I doing these videos? Well, I think whether you're going down the route of going to a tutor or teaching yourself or just having a bit of fun, I think there are some basic uh, tips and tricks that will help you whatever path you go on before you start. Um, and that's one of these today. So today I'm talking about three numbers. Uh, the number one, the number four, and the number five in Roman numerals, uh, I, IV, and V, which is how you'll normally see this written down in music tuition. Um, and what do I mean by that? Well, that is basically a progression of notes or chords that work well together. Uh, it's probably one of the most common progressions that there is. Um, and by knowing that relationship between the first note, the fourth note, and the fifth note, which I'll come on to in a moment, um, will certainly help you expand your repertoire. If you can play one song, you can then play lots of others that use exactly the same um, pattern. Um, so what are those numbers representing? Well, let's start with C major. So we'll play a C major chord, that is our one. And the fourth note in the C major scale, if you imagine a piano keyboard, would be an F. And the fifth note, which is the five in the one, four, five progression, on the piano scale would be a G. And then back to the one, which is the C. And you probably heard that they sound nice together. They work together. No matter what order you play them in. They're nice on the ear. And there's a reason for that. That's mathematics and that's, that's music, basically. Um, and it works with all of the scales. Um, so if we take uh, the G chord as our one, um, the fourth note in the scale of G major would take us to a C, and the fifth to a D, and back to a G. And they work. They work together in exactly the same way. D chord, D, fourth is a G, an A, back to the D, and they work in the same way, that's the same relationship. So by knowing that, if you've got a, a song that uses the progression 1, 4, 5 in the key of C, and you know that that's using the C, F, G, you know that if you wanted to shift it up to a D, you'd be using a D, G, A. Um, don't worry about that for now, just get your ear around the relationship between 1, 4 and 5, and they can play in any order. Um, I'm trying to think about the most common song that uses that pattern and it's probably Happy Birthday, I don't know anyone who doesn't know it but that's using those chords in C to C to F C G C and by knowing that we could do it in D. Back to D. To G. D. A. D. So we've, I've just transposed. That that's how it works. Um, and it's not all the twee songs, but you know songs like Old MacDonald, Shoe Fly, and things like that are. Uh, all use the one four five pattern, but um, you know, so do so do cool songs. I mean, the the bane of the ukulele club, uh, the the sorry, the Johnny Cash song. Um, Trying to think of a Johnny Cash song. Love is a burning thing, and it makes the fiery ring. My wild desire I fell into a ring of fire That's a one four five song um, You got to know when to hold them Know when to fold them Know when 
to run away But nowhere to hide You never count your money or When you're sitting at the table They'll be kind enough for counting When the dealing's done I have walked I have crawled I have scaled These city walls screwed up at the end there that's nice um so is that important well it's it's more important than just reading your songs off the sheet if you understand the progression and there are lots more progressions that you can work through as you develop um but certainly start with knowing the one four five progression because by knowing that you'll be amazed at how many songs use it uh in fact go to your song books look out all your song sheets that you use called c f and g and knowing that that's a one four five song, you can now play it in the key of G by using G C. You can play it in the key of E by using E A and B. You can play it in the key of B flat using B flat E flat and F. That's the same relationship. One is the root note, fourth note up, fifth note up in the scale of that um, that key. Um, so knowing one four five is immensely useful. Um, have a look on my website on the link in the description below because there's a link there to something called the Circle of Fifths which will help explain that a little bit more uh, and some other tricks and, and tips around chord progressions and the relationship between chords and melodies for that matter. I hope that helps, I hope it's not um, put you off because it really is one of the simplest things to learn and so much better than just sitting down there with your ukulele and saying well I'm playing a C and I'm playing an F because that's what my chord sheet tells me to. Think about why it's asking you to play that. Yes, it, that's the way it was written, but it was written that way because it sounds good. Um, so, one, four, five, one. You can open up so much music if you know this. Good luck, enjoy it.